Hi, it's Cameron Reynolds. I'm super excited to show you all of this mustard and rape that came up after we sowed 100 pounds, 50 in this field and 50 in another field right across the street over there. I say street, like gravel road. <laughs> but it's coming up gorgeous and you can just see it all down in here. It definitely did better in the sparse areas, but I also did put more seed in the sparse areas. The goal is not to get a ton of extra honey for our bees, that would be fantastic, but just something to supplement them in the spring and also to help the deer. We really like helping the deer stay healthier and we do like to hunt them as well, but we feel like there's gotta be a give and take relationship. That's the way nature does things when it's in harmony. But it's just all down in here and you can just see them. They're starting to put on um, their true leaves. Right now you've, they've got the, their first set right here. And then you've got that real mustard leaf right there. And this is over in here. You can definitely see where we had the bag and where I spilled a little bit. You can see the seeds in the top of the heads right there as they're sprouting. Isn't that fantastic? I have a lot of, I have a pretty decent amount of gardening experience. I used to do a lot of CSAs and I knew that this type of seed from the brassica family has really good germination rates with a less effort than a lot of seeds. And so we just broadcasted this out in here, like in the other video. If you want to watch that, I'll leave that link up here. It's real short, but I'm hoping we'll give you a follow-up to this is going to encourage the deer to be healthier but it's also going to give us some really healthy pollens this coming spring in 2022 and some nectar as well mustard is a, is a really good plant for them and what really initially got that idea going in my mind to try that out is back in the day farmers in this area would plant some of that as a kind of cover crop going into winter and they really stopped doing that by and large but what would happen over time is some of it would be able to set seed and then it just reseed itself every year. It never really impacted our hay because it was just scattered here and there. But I noticed, you know, 10 plus years ago that before the hay would get up good, there'd be these nice yellow flowers and I could eat some of the leafy greens when it was young and the bees were all over it getting pollen and nectar. And so I, over the years I've wanted to try this and I haven't got around to it, but I'm excited. I don't know how well this will work, but I'm hoping we can get a little bit more rain and this stuff will really set in really good. But this could be really good. I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna try some of these right here. Micro greens are really good for you. Good and good for you. So just take them like that right there. Those are really good actually. Just a hint of warmth out of them you almost just like a hint of radish and turnip greens rolled into one. You uh, throw a little bit of butter and salt on these things and you just wipe out a whole plate. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.